Osborne is a two-year-old German short hair pointer who is very, very excited. Gets, uh, jumps up and uh, tries to run out the door. Let's see how he does on the greeting. I had my foot braced up against the door just to make sure. Yeah, you're smelling yesterday's clients on me, aren't you? Sniffing we like, jumping obviously not so much. Boy, do I have a surprise for you, buddy. Oh, what is it? What is this? All right, so this is pretty normal, jumping up. That was actually That was pretty, okay. Well, I didn't allow him to continue jumping up on me. I brought up my knee to block him. And uh, also I'm using a method of distraction. I, work, I wear the same pants a couple days in a row, so they smell like the other day's clients, which distracts, especially when you have a hunting dog with a strong nose like him. He's more interested in sniffing the other dogs and identifying what types of dogs they were. It gives him something to do to distract him. Dogs can only think about one thing at a time. So when the nose, and the nose actually controls 60% of their brain. And because they can't think of two things at once, when he's sniffing me, he can't think about jumping up and doing other things. A general rule of thumb, now obviously we don't like him jumping up on us, but uh, eventually we're gonna set it up so that he's gonna come up and sniff and investigate people and then walk away. You wanna kinda let people, let the dog sniff, get a good sufficient sniff, and then walk away and then have your guests come in. Okay. But the jumping up, we can't have that, Osborne. Sit. Yes. <laughs>